This is the initial diabetes foot assessment form. This form is to be completed on a person's initial presentation or their first time attending the diabetes foot clinic. This will essentially be the baseline data and information you have about the person. First, work through and gain personal information about the person. Uh, this will include their hospital number, date, include your name as the clinician and the clinic in which you are practicing. Next, work through the person's information, such as their name, date of birth, gender, phone number, address, and which clinic they attend. The next section is to work through their diabetes history. This will help give information and an overview of the person's diabetes, how well it's managed, and any other particular relevant information, such as if they have peripheral vascular disease, kidney disease, visual impairment, if they are using traditional medicine, or if they had, have had previous surgical debridement. The next section is the person's general physical condition. This will gain an overview of their physical health and well-being. Lifestyle factors are another important role to monitor. As we have discussed, smoking increases the risk of cardiovascular disease by eight times. Uh, alcohol and nutrition are also very important to monitor along with physical activity. Next, work through their wound history. These will indicate if the person has any high risk factors such as a previous foot wound or have they had a toe or foot amputation. This form is quite useful in that it also gives an overview and explanation of what the findings may mean. Next is the vascular assessment. For further information and to recall some of the vascular tests, please refer to the other videos such as the ankle brachial index video or how to palpate pulses. Also work through the other questions guided in this section. Again, there is a section to explain what this means and what to educate the person and their family, and also if an appropriate referral is necessary. Following this is the neurological assessment. Ask the person the appropriate neurological assessment questions and complete the sensation test. There is a video on the sensation test for more information. This will explain what you have found, and it is again important to educate the person and their family about neuropathy and explain each of the steps. An appropriate referral may be required at this section. Finally, there is a visual inspection. Inspect the foot closely for a foot wound, any signs of swollen, red, hot, or a bad smell. Complete each appropriate referral or management guide. Finally, the person and their family should be provided with information about the following sections. Make sure you have ticked through each section to correctly complete the form. Finally, is the person at risk of a foot wound or has a current foot wound? Tick yes or no. This form should be in, done in conjunction with their previous screening form or foot and mobility screening form. This is the current baseline draft and will be available for further discussion and feedback for staff in the Solomon Islands in order for us to adjust and modify this to be more suitable to the diabetic foot clinic and relevant services. Tag you.